the next piece of our SQL Server 2012 environment that I want to discuss briefly with you guys is the new features involving data quality services. And this is one area where Microsoft has put some special attention because they found that it's very easy for organizations to take their data and assume that it's good and end up with corrupt data or bad data coming into their system or duplicate data or all sorts of kinds of data quality issues that can really change the reporting structure, that can really affect the quality of the data that's available during decision making times. So to that end, we're moving to our third section here, our data quality services. We need what we call knowledge-driven data cleansing. It's not good enough to just try and clean data. You know, if you've got 10 records, 100 records, maybe even 1,000 records, you can do some hands-on data cleansing. But if you have a million records, or 10 million records, or 100 million records, there is no way you can manually do that kind of cleansing, or even analyze the kinds of problems that you're going to be experiencing. So they've built an architecture in place to allow us to do knowledge-driven cleansing so that we can maintain an ongoing knowledge base that describes our data, our data integrity, and our data issues. They've got built-in features for handling deduplication, standardizing of our data, and of course these features all integrate with our integration services so that we can apply them as part of our ongoing maintenance, as part of our data migration using the ETL, Anytime we're interacting with that data, we can incorporate data quality services as a part of that process. Now, when we think about some of the business scenarios behind this, what we're really looking at is we need to have a way of understanding what data quality service means to us. DQS is a great idea, but what IBM needs versus what Chevron needs versus what Microsoft needs are going to be very different data quality concepts. So each organization needs to be able to manage their own data quality knowledge base. As a part of that, they've built in interfaces to allow you to discover that knowledge, to create that knowledge, and to then build that knowledge base out as it re regards your organization's data. And in fact, they've even built in APIs to allow that to integrate with third-party reference data. So it's not just about your SQL Server databases. It's about any information that you can provide that might be useful to the knowledge base and to the data cleansing process. Some of these features include the idea of cleansing and matching. Again, correcting data based on the standards, deduplicating the data, ensuring that everything is consistent. And these features are built right in. So when we think about data quality as a process within the Microsoft world, we need to understand what's actually happening behind the scenes. We start off with our core data, whether it's on our servers, whether we have some data in the cloud, whether all of our reference information is from our data, or we have external data that we're using for our reference. You have a whole series of different resources that are available to you. The knowledge management aspect is the collecting of that data from all of its different sources into a single knowledge base. As that knowledge base, knowledge base is created and refined, we then take that information and we build in profiling based on it. The profiling gives us a way of analyzing new data and changing data against our knowledge base. And we can do things like look at the status of what's happening, look at the progress of the comparisons, and get notifications back from the system when we run into potential data issues. Based on our reaction to those notifications, we can then either automatically or manually initiate our correction and standardization processes, which include our matching our deduplication, our standardization. So when you think about the idea of DQS, it's this idea of collecting all of this descriptive information, building profiles against it, being notified when data changes and data imports don't match our profile, so that we can then correct and standardize through the available tools. <laughs> 